वेलकम टू करियर डायमंड दिस इज जहाली मुंडा योर होस्ट फॉर टुडेस शो टुडेस टॉपिक इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर द यंग माइंड्स एज टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फिल्म स्टडी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज फिल्म स्टडी व्हाट आर द सिमिलरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन फिल्म स्टडी एंड फिल्म मेकिंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी विल बी कवरिंग व्हाट आर द स्कोप्स एंड दैट सो टुडे ऑन आवर सेट वी हैव associate professor of smnt adam university and a film expert ms navina chakrabarti hi hello i'm from andhra pradesh so ma'am uh, there are several questions which i will need to ask so i would like to ask uh, my first question that is since you were from a commerce background what exactly has driven you towards our you know film arts what was it okay well uh, if you start with you know um, my aspiration from very childhood or my school days i was basically a person who always liked performing arts you know whether it is dance drama on stage or anything which is really uh, related to creativity but somehow you know when you grow up you just go with you the flow with your friends and suddenly i explore the field of commerce because at that Like people were going for a lot of management, like you know, MBA and all. So just like a bandwagon, I was also following uh, like others, like a MBA or aspiring candidate of MBA, ICW or CS. So you know, I then I did my graduation in commerce and finance. But soon I realized that I'm missing performing arts, and I always wanted to be part of visual arts. And at very initial stages, like a lot of film, song, but never thought film would be a study. It never came to my even wild imagination because we always knew that film, like an entertainment, it cannot be a study. You know, so I never knew all these things. But after my graduation, I get to know that you know uh, how I can expose myself to a performing arts, and that can I can create a profession. And then I simultaneously realize that this is a visual arts. They call it's a subject called mastery education. There are something called film studies, film making. And then I started searching about this, and that's why my journey. And I then I pursued my masters and. Journals of our mastery of education. Then I explore film study and basically film appreciation. Now here people don't know what is film study, is what is film appreciation, what is film making. All these are very different terms with each other. And from that commerce world to a normal and normal film loving person to becoming individual film and film study. So that's my journey, but I also started exploring later on in this, and I started my career as a journalist, you know, as a television journalist, and from there I shifted to film studies. And as you say that uh, film studies, film making, and in fact film appreciation are the three different entities. So could you please explain what are the difference? Oh, well, that's a very interesting question because you know uh, we all the time we exactly we get to know that. Film is something we are watching. Film just like an entertainment, and that's it. We go to the theater, and now it is so many platforms are there, and we do have many kind of channels like that in YouTube to get a lot to see a visual thing. But we need to understand two or three aspects of it. Like one is film making. Like what is film making? One has to know what are the basic aspects of the process of film making. What is that? It can be. Uh, It started with two or three things like a production. With that, before that is a pre-production, production, and post-production. In filmmaking, what happens? You know, in pre-production, you know, we start with the storyline, we start with the casting, we start start with the location, we start with the director, with the camera person, who are the main crew and cast, how to develop. This comes under pre-production and the filmmaking. When it comes to scheduling, where we shoot everything, we go to the location. We shoot everything with the help of camera person, cinematographer, with the help of uh, other directors, crew members, squad boys, actor, and on the location or in location what we do, like in the studio and outdoor. That's a part of production. 
And now, after that, so post production that comes under whatever the things, whatever the uh, footage we have taken from the shooting, we come to the edit table, we edit, we actually render every best of thing, we actually master the thing. Then, we, what we do, we go for the music, we go for the basic graphics, we go for all the credit lines. Even the image of the promotional marketing of the film comes under. Post production process, but what we are making it is a little making. But before that making, we need to do something which we need to understand, we need to learn how to do that. Now, what is film studies? You know, what film studies basically what we do that, you know, so we need to understand the aspects of film making, you know. What we this does not make we do everyone will have a mobile camera and any handicap. Any anyone can be a camera person, but we need to understand the aspects of camera, aspects of filmmaking. You know, there are history of filmmaking, how we started film. Initially, it was started with the, uh, just a kind of scope with two or three moving camera or moving thing. No one knew that a moving images can be turned into film story or story. You know, it started with you and your brothers. So when we start the history uh, of filmmaking, uh, when we start how to start a grammar of filmmaking, different movements of filmmaking, films, then different uh, theories of filmmaking, like, you know, what your theory, then we have a lot of, like, you know, novel one, new ways, then new realism. So think about theoretical part, Aesthetical part, grammar of filmmaking, it comes into a full, a full big text, you know, through uh, several movements, filmmakers' work, then a lot of you know, studying about how all the frames, studying of frame, we know we how to have a camera, but theoretics, what we do, camera movements are there, then we have camera, uh, camera positions are there, editing, editing, also the different aspect of editing. Plus, we need to know a lot of theories, we need to know our movement, we need to know the aspect, aesthetic, genres. So, this is all about film studies. So, it's not different. And all of film appreciation comes everything, you know. Not only what we do, we do film exactly what we do, we just watch a cinema. But in the art of film, watching and appreciating, you know, what happened, you know, uh, we always believe in review and criticism. So now in filmmaking format, we never uh, do that easy criticism. So our film is appreciation. To discuss about the frame, to discuss about the elements of filmmaking, to discuss about the, uh, the particular signature style of the director. When we discuss something about the lighting, about the set designing, about the framing, about the ambiguity of the film, storyline, in video, to appreciate the film is all about an aspect where we look at the film, how to watch a film, how to see the different aspects of filmmaking. So, during the session, all together, we also get to know a lot of theories, a lot of movements, a lot of aesthetics, a lot of, you know, when we work on shadow, the meaning of shadow, something else, you know, when someone is moving, if, if, if they are moving this side or that side, what's the connotation, what's the meaningfulness of the a particular frame. So in cinema, we all, everything we talk about, about visual language, and we talk about everything on frame. So, you know, there are basic differences of film making, film studies, and film appreciation, you know. So, all are co-related. You know, just, you know, giving a very, uh, a very layman's analogy, you know, we have a different work of our eyes, nose, and lips, you know, and throat, and ear, but they all together make a thing, and it's all are interrelated. So, film making is also related to film study, a person who and only understand them in any film who is from the film studies, you know, and who know how to watch a film, understand the elements of the film. You know? So that's what the difference is. When you have explained it very wonderfully well. That's it. I would like to move with uh, another question, which is what are the qualities of should uh, and Akasha should have to pursue such a thing? Okay, first of all, nothing. We don't need anything which is uh, something outstanding or something which are wonderful with your marks or you need to put in mathematics or you need to put in at history or whatever. We don't evaluate that. It's a thorough you know, cinema is absolutely a visual art. And I always uh, think that any person who 
person aspiring who is into visual arts or performing arts and someone who is a key creator, you know, uh, can be in this film. And if, you know, uh, we, we witness a lot of film buffs, you know, I know there are many people, I have met people, uh, including me, that you can eat, drink, sleep, and dream with them. So that's not exactly. I've seen people, you know, still uh, after pandemic, also there are people still they believe in first day for show. So uh, I think that you know, someone who loves cinema, someone who loves to read books, someone who loves to tell stories, someone who loves uh, to have a camera, someone who understands how to tell your story in front of the camera or with in front of the audience with a moving or visual image can be the part if we don't need any such a uh, different specialization or anything like that, but the person who is from the public arts or the person who is from the very good technology can help in this field to understand basically the production part and the pre-production part. So not much of the things are required, but I think that you know loving storytelling. The craft part is to flourish storytelling with any form. So we what we are doing, we are using a camera with visual language. So storytelling, who loves to listen to a story, who loves to read his or her own story, who loves to showcase his story, that be in this field. Yeah. Basically, the one has to be the uh, passion of it. Absolutely. Passion is a very um, superficial word. I also feel you know, we need to love something because I always feel, you know, I never, I'm a other person who never learned dancing. Uh, I was never learned anything, just theater, but I always love to be on stage. So all about passion, what is your love that is your passion, I think. And we only do something in passion when we are in love. So we need to love something. Yeah. So my next question is, is film studies or filmmaking a vast force? And if yes, then what are the scopes under these two courses? Okay, well, uh, so there are several courses, you know, uh, if you look about film studies, I'm a person for mass communication, so mass communication is a vast field of, you know, where journalism is also a part, where theater is also a part, including television and digital, uh, and media is also a part of mass communication, you know, and uh, then I was listening to a story of Kiran Rao, Normally we know her like a comic book's wife, but he's also, she's for mass communication, she's also a person for studies. So, you know, uh, one thing to understand that uh, what we, are, we can pursue, we can pursue, we can start with uh, graduation, with mass communication, we can start out with, but there are some appreciation courses are there, some studies are there, even in mass communication, even in those part of journalism, they are also telling stories. It's all about these are the master's courses and the graduate courses, and there are wonderful institutes are there. Right now, the wonderful institutes are there. They are having a full fledged film courses, plus, in their master's and master's education, they are also full specialization of film courses. If you take my example, I'm a person. Both master's and mass communication, but my specialization was all the same television film. So, my last two semester, absolutely, my most specialized in screenplay writing, my theory, my uh, subject would be Shota Jitra's film, uh, script writing. I just remember when I was in class, I wrote my whole high different script, film script. So, you know, uh, so these are the basic courses that are wonderful institute and my courses are there that are pursuing these, and they are actually conducting those kind of courses. Uh, Ma'am, uh, since we have talked a lot about the uh, course now, I would like to ask about the industry now. Like my next question is, how should we a newcomer covers approach to the industry should be? I mean, if um, a script, I mean, if a script writer has a script as a pleasure, how is he or she uh, supposed to approach to the industry? Today? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a nice question and. There are many answers to it. So I've answered other, I would say, strategies to it. You know, but it's not, you know, first thing we need to remember that making films and pursuing career in films are not a nine to five job. You're never going to get one interview call that we are recruiting a nine to five person for a director's job or maybe a screenwriter's job or maybe a screenplay writer's job. Nothing like that. We need to understand first that you know this is not related to any kind of nine to five or nine to eight 
job. Yeah, definitely film industry have a very comfort now on a comfort understanding they are keeping into it. But we need to understand if you are a screenwriter, want to be a screenwriter or want to be a story writer or content writer, you need to understand one thing that you know how to already it can be very, 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 very difficult to uh, for anyone. Now I in class I would say there are not many festivals out there. The festivals are there, uh, you know, and now the internet is providing a lot of production houses, but one has to know the map of telling story and writing a script. What I say the newcomers, if you have story with you, start writing your story, start developing your screenplay. Put it and keep your mail and post to yourself. Post to yourself if you are not registering yourself to uh, uh, content writers, script writing association, or the all kind of association of that. Now you bind your script. What you need to do, either I always tell my student, aspiring students, and other people, why you are not developing your own short story and put it in the YouTube, and that can be a testimony. That can be a testimony. Or if you have a good big script with you, most of you want to know what is the difference between script, screenplay, and dialogue writing. If your full fledged script is ready, then you can directly approach for production houses. And nowadays, we don't believe uh, the big production houses like Excel Entertainment, YRF, and you know, Tiger Baby, the new uh, thing, and other Roshit production. They are, not there. they are asking for scripts. They are Dharma Production, Excel, they are you to give them your script every day. They have some such a record script. If they really feel they are getting a great something as a good script, and there are wonderful the competitions are there, there are many international film festivals are there where there are competition for the scripting. And if you go to Mami, if you go to Java Film Festival, if you go to a Calgary Film Festival, if you go to Goa, you can meet a lot of people those who are there finding the story. And the best part is that in the film, film festival, there are a lot of people there to film bazaar. You know, they go and they take your scripts. They take your script. So now everything are wonderful, but one thing you again need to be really loved and you're very really focused about what exactly you need to do. First, you need to understand what exactly you want to do. This is my story, this is for the audience. And you need to develop that. It's your language and what you are pursuing into. So festival is one of the approaches that you can festival you can do. You can uh, you can do your short stories and give it to just a testimonial. You can um go to the give script to different production houses. Now addresses are available in the internet and you can take it and reply that you can do something then clear. Before that you need to Post your own uh, script to yourself so that you can register with you. If you are not registering yourself to a uh, script writer association, because you know, now there's copyright issue with people taking your story. That's a very, I don't want my youngster, they should not exploit it. But there are wonderful avenues of that. Just run away there from the beginning. If you take each and every thing with a struggle, the only drawback or something, and which is good at a time, but you have a placement kind of a thing that we are recruiting a job of a director, we are recruiting someone who's a screenplay writing, because they are performing uh, visual arts and into creative. So you need to create your space, you need to create your own space, you need to create your own uh, speciality. And I always tell uh, newcomers, why don't you start like a squad boy, like be into a spin making set. You just be there, look at what is happening, approach your story. You know, right now the best of directors, they have started with like a squad boy. Uh, they, do, they have done a lot of jobs as assistant directors, associate directors, they, they come into this. You know, but we need to understand when I meet now with people, they go to cinema, but you know, why film acquisition is important? When we watch a film, we need to understand who is the writer of the film, we have to develop it. Writer of this film, who's a story writer of this film, who's a director of this film, who's a choreographer of the film, who's a uh, stunt master. So, we do everything, you know. So, uh, so when we approach it, we spend some time on film set. I believe that spend some time on film set and watch film films. So, it's not a nine to five job, but we need to approach for it. We need to approach for it and start a very scratch. Fine. But there are many students are there, like filmmakers, they come and they keep talking to you. Maybe something can be great. And I always feel that newcomers should go to work with festivals. Showcase their work. 
Because you know, right now you don't need any ticket or any job. You just need to shoot your knowledge, your approach for some competition. You just get an even getting recognition or your story that like recognition, you will definitely call that something. So he is not he will look at that film is not lucrative enough, but everyone's a number is a lot. Now someone was approaching for acting, suppose acting, now everyone you know aspire for a actor or something. Now the what's the feeling that casting agents are there? If you go to internet, Mukesh Chowdhury casting agency is there. You know, writers, actors factory, where with uh 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 Abhishek Dadaji. You know, they are wonderfully taking what employed they are nowadays. We are taking uh you know actors from every sphere of this country. So NGOs right now is much bigger, and plus the commencement of OTT platform, I think, is wonderfully they are recruiting. All right. So we have this. Uh, I would like to uh, ask our show's last question. As I said, there is struggle from the very beginning, as you explained also. So, uh, there are a lot of myths and realities of film and media industry. One of the most common is that this industry is very difficult to survive. So, my question is how does one manage to survive, especially for a newcomer? How is he or she supposed to survive? Well, initially, I obviously I would say part is rough. But from Kinsasan, how much you are getting? If it is even connected to each and every food, just like a management, just like any IT or just like anything, uh, the starting patch is really rough. Um, it depends on where you are starting. But at all, if you are starting with a good institute, if you are starting with a good organization, you will get a part. Fine. Yeah, this is not at all a kind of office job, but you need to be that you are skilled on your own work. Suppose you are a, you, you want to be into editing, like video editing. So you want to be absolutely very skilled with that particular things. You know, and then can be associated with someone. If you want to be a director, so we start with the film set a very scratch like lessons in director, like a spot boy, you just work. But one has to notice your one has to notice your work. If you are writing a story, keep on writing. Send to the directors, mail them. You know, if your work is good, I still believe if your work is good, if you believe in your work, the path may be rough initially, but not for a long time. You know, I always tell my aspiring candidates to announce uh, with their eye, but Guru's eye. But if it is great, it, it can be in anything, it can be in anything, you know. And nowadays, film making is not only a career, there are film curation are there, there are film management are there, the film um, uh, marketing is there, there are you know, different technical jobs are there, uh, there are huge demand of editors. There are huge demand of editors, there are huge demand of writers in the film industry, there's a huge demand uh, those who are doing set designing. So film is not related to the writing of things, there are many other genres. In one film, there are 350 people are working on one subject. It is just about project to project. And once people know, or maybe your boss or hire people knows what is your caliber, then path is not rough. Yeah, it's a very uh, uh, physically or mentally painting, but that's why I always tell you, film is all sort about of love. If you love your job, then the path is free. And where a struggle, something is everywhere. Like, you know, every day if you look at our local train, you can find main story that everyone and every single that they are struggling. So, so definitely there is, but last, uh, if you believe in your work, there's a part. So, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for coming on our show. I hope uh, you have helped a lot of other clients who aspire to become a filmmaker. So, with this, we have come to an end. Uh, this is Shokri Sonali Munda signing off. Thank you.